What's up, guys? This is Tony B. Tony Baloney. You know, better late than never, right? I have not made a setup video for this year. And, um, so I thought I would just make one real quick now. You know, I didn't, like, clean up anything or anything. This is just literally how I run my setup, like, every single day. Alright, so, anyway, let's get into it. I'll keep it short. 2009, Ram 1500. Um, I like this truck. It's been, it's been good. I, you know, I've had to do a few things to it. Um, you know, done some work to it. Um, done a lot of it myself. Uh, but a great truck. You know, I think the, the Rams are, are the best truck for the money that you can get because they cost a little less than the other brands new. So therefore used, you know, it just... You know, it gives you that much more leverage as buying a used truck because you get a lot for your money. I mean, you can, I don't, it's, it's kind of messy right now because it's just from work, but my cooler's here. My toolbox with all kinds of stuff in it. You know, you got your vice grips, you got all your necessary, you got your little voltmeter tester, got the lube for the steel, got all my tools for all the steel chainsaws and Red Max and stuff. Got a hammer, got all the wrenches, got a tire plug set, a battery cleaner, just, you know vice grips all kinds of wrenches and pliers screwdrivers extra blades for the uh, sawzall you know just just all kind of things there's my cooler jumper cables over there but as you can see this is a beautiful truck on big back seat um i got seat covers on the seats sorry i need to pull my cooler out done for today but uh yeah i got some seat covers on the front seats here and as you can see, I mean, I would have just destroyed my seats without these seat covers. So, you guys' work truck, I would recommend getting seat covers just because so much sweating and crap. You see how that's nasty. I mean, it doesn't feel nasty, but you know what I'm saying. It would have got all on my seats. But anyway, beautiful truck. Um, I like it. Uh, what else? There's my phone. This is just how I run my every day i got some chips here i got my headphones over there let's test out these chips oh yeah mm -hmm. there we go anyway i got my hats towel hatch towel safety glasses sunglasses all kind of whatever stuff like that See, I got two or three pairs over there. Um, got some, I throw trash down on the floorboard on that side, and then I just clean the trash out like every day when I get home. Here's my Roundup sprayer. Here's some pine straw. We've got to touch up a customer's property. They're about to get some pictures done for uh, putting it on the uh, market. So we're going to go out there tomorrow, and when we do the yard, you know, we're just going to say we i when we do the yard we're gonna touch up the straw like in certain places so it looks really good got my of these um i sometimes stick them right there they don't maybe not always go right there anyway six by twelve trailer guys i need to keep this short i can ramble i can ramble six by twelve trailer you can see i drove them over up here a million times um it's a great trailer go check out all my friends here um, I got all these stickers from my friends. Real men love Jesus. That's true. Got Wright Mowers, Red Rock Maintenance, Lawn Care Business Success Podcast. Got my man Eclipse Lawn Care, Copper Creek Cuts, JC's Lawn Tips, Angel Medina's Lawn Squad Nation, Wyatt's Lawn Mowing Service. Got a couple other more stickers I need to put on there too. Anyway, yeah, this is literally, I need to go uh, dump this bag right now. You see some debris from work. Um, here's my Skagler Z48. Um, great mower, y'all know. I have many reviews and stuff on that. You get that? I want to tell y'all the prices of everything I bought too. That way it helps you out. Skag, uh, I think you can get those around 4,200. Here's y'all seen the video on this gas can rack. My no spill gas can for the two mix. Keep a block there, and then a smaller shim there so that you know because the door seems to always be uneven. Um, this is where my backpack blower should go. You can see where it, it goes there. The pipe, the pipe goes right there. 
Um, but I'm having a little problem with my Red Max. That dealer didn't have that little part the other day, that little grommet, so I, had to or I ordered one on eBay. I'm um, in Keep It Mode. Channel told me that it uh, an aftermarket one may not be as good, but I already had bought it, so I'm going to try it out and see. Um, so anyway, hopefully that'll get fixed you know, here in the next couple days, but right now I'm having to just roll only with the hand blower, which is hard because i got some clumps and things to deal with. But uh, anyway... So, I'll show you all that in a minute, but, uh, yeah, so I got my, uh, equipment defender rack here. It's a three-position rack. Um, I don't run a trim around the bottom. I mean, it's just me, so I don't really have any need more, more than two. So, I got my hand blower here, my Husqvarna 525 BX. You can get that around 289 or something. It's like the top-of-the-line Husqvarna hand blower. It's great. It has anti-vibration, the whole bit. Okay, it's a competitor to the BG86 steel. This one's awesome, though. I like it. Um, equipment Defender racks, I think they're somewhere in the 200 range. Um, I got my Husqvarna 525L. It's just the L, it's not the LS. Love this trimmer. It's awesome. You can get these around 300 bucks. It's an excellent, it's an excellent trimmer. I love, I have my Milwaukee. These are probably around 300 if you buy it by itself, too, with the battery. Um, love this thing. I use it every single morning because I start early and so let's say I get to the job at 7.30 or 7. You know, I'll weed eat first and I use this. Um, I love it. Alright, moving on. You can see I've got my ladder here uh, mounted on the... You can see that? And it's got a strap and it just stays right there. I got two pieces of plywood, you know, to make that stronger. Um, my hedge trimmers sit right here. This is my HL94K. These are expensive, probably like 520 or something, plus tax, more than that. I got some uh, my regular gas there. Um, got another bottle. Um, this is just an oil bottle, but uh, you see I got my uh, tire pumper. It's made for a bike, but it works great for your mower if it had a flat in someone's backyard or something. Got these other little... Uh, box I made out of wood. See I got my oils in here. Steel oil. Got a uh, tire slime because that's awesome too. Um, I got my uh, Black Diamond 095 uh, line. Love this stuff and thanks to Southern Style Lawn Care. He had given me this spool holder a long time ago. Got another box with some uh, um, you know PV blaster stuff. You put different little tools in there. I got my rigid uh, um, Sawzall and I got like a wood pruning blade on it so that works really good you know for chopping up chopping up sticks and then putting them in these bags I've um, got my cone there um, what else oh yeah I got my uh, commercial 30 here turf master and um, it's supposed to be bolts right here but, uh, but I just uh, take these pins right here put in there so that way even though it's not meant to fold up the commercial one mine still folds up <laughs> so yeah it's great um i got a spot right here where i tie the mower down um as you can see i'm running the speed feed head um like like a lot of guys on youtube i had a uh, bulletproofed it you can see that bolt is getting really thin but it is working i would have worn through this head for sure by now i do a lot of weed eating and uh, yeah, check it out, Milwaukee. Milwaukee's had it right all along. It comes stock with, uh, I don't know if you can see that, with metal built in. Oh yeah, I got my shovel right there up on the trimmer racks. It's got my claw cinch thing, you know, it like tightens up. I don't know what you call it, a clamp. And it just holds it, just rides up there because that's unused space anyways. Um, this is a six by 12 enclosed trailer. Uh, found it used a couple years ago barely used only like six months old on craigslist i had to drive like an hour and a half to get it i bought i think i paid 1800 1700 somewhere in there so that's good um i got my uh my uh, time master the residential one here's the two baggers for it i like the time master better for sure mowing grass i just was using that today because i haven't i haven't ran it in a while and i don't want you know the carburetor to mess up and stuff so, so I took, you know, took that out and mowed a few yards with it today, but 
Yeah, I like mowing this one better just because it's lighter. Um, the downside is this doesn't hold much gas. You all can check out my review, my comparison video between that and the Turfmaster. Um, I also have a video of doing the transmission on the Turfmaster years ago. But, uh, and I'll try to put the links to both of those videos down in the description so y'all can check those out. You can check out the transmission swap and check out the comparison, the in-depth comparison of both those mowers. Here's my Snapper Pro. Um, this is a great mower too. I just put a new belt on it that I ordered on eBay. As you can see, I got 220 hours on it. So this one's still fairly new. And these are just some uh, new dining room chairs that my wife had ordered. I got to assemble those. Um, here soon. Anyway, here's my uh, rigid half inch brushless impact. This thing is a beast. Um, excellent tool for the money that it costs. Guys, how can I forget about this? This is like my favorite part of my setup. I've been using it for six months. It's excellent. Um, the only thing about it is like if you had old blades that were sharpened at the incorrect angle. I would uh, get rid of those and start from a new blade. Start using this from a new blade. Other than that, I love. And um, you can see where I'm just I'm just waiting on that uh, waiting on this part. You know, come from eBay. Um, I can't even see anything wrong with this one. I think it's just maybe got too old, and I think it's too hard. Like it doesn't feel soft. It feels sort of hard. So I think that's the problem with it. You know, I got some other tools here. Got my battery chargers. My two Milwaukee ones. Here's my other rigid drill. Like I said, this is just kind of a mess. It's just kind of in, you know, random video here. Here's my wipe wave I take to work sometimes. Got my straps. Got some loppers. Stuff. Impact sockets. Got my big old pipe wrench. I don't use it much, but it feels mainly to have it, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I got my little air compressor, a little Harbor Freight one. This thing's great. I like it. Um, the two, the hose, Harbor Freight hose leaked on me, so I went to Home Depot and got a better hose months later. But this hose is great, and I like this. It's great, because I don't have like an air nail or anything like that, so just for pumping up tires on your trucks and mowers and stuff, it works great. Here's one of my cookers I use at work. Here's another cooker I use at work. All my shovels and rakes and stuff are on this uh, Rackham uh, holder. Got all some oils there. My inverter generator, this thing is awesome. Love it, it's a Champion 2000 watt. Here's some of my gas cans, weed killer. Oh yeah, here's some of my KM attachments. Here's like extension thing, pull saw. Here's my little steel MS250 that my dad had given me years ago and I'm still running it, it's great. Got my steel KM130. Got the edger, got some more sprayers, got the covers for the mowers, blade covers, a little spreader for seed if you need it. I got a hedge trimmer here, I got a come along if you get a mower stuck, strap puller thing, you know. I got my Milwaukee uh, blower here, got my Milwaukee hedge trimmer. Um, yeah, I got my jungle jack, y'all know that's awesome. I got me a creeper here. When I work on my cars, change the oil and other work on my trucks and cars. Um, I got some uh, Gorilla, um, I don't know if they're, they might be Gorilla. Gorilla ramps. Those are great as well. Um, that's a little book right here. I keep up with all my maintenance. Like if I switch a part on the mower or if I change the oil or whatever, I write it in that book. And so that's helpful. The only last thing I'm going to show y'all, because I got to get at, I got to, move on with my night here but uh yeah let me show you guys where i uh um this is where i burn a lot of my debris from the yards is inside of here as you can see sticks pine cones stuff I have a lot of mess big stuff and whatever um i bring it over to my dad's farm but you know just little daily stuff that i always am picking up bring it here and dump it here here's my uh seven by 14 open trailer you see i got some got wood on here which is great i use it for piling up pine straw mulch 
you, know, you can stack it up high and you strap it on these little things. I got it bolted in on this rail and then down at the bottom too. Um, see, I have it just right at the rail in the back half. But this was great because it was just wide open, so stuff would just like fall out. So had to do that. Um, it's a good little trailer. I only pay like eight or nine hundred bucks for this, and then I repainted it, put new wheels and tires on it, fixed the lights, um, and it's been a great trailer. So oh, I did have to replace one board too. Seven by fourteen, so it's pretty big. Like it's hard to tell on camera, but like it's long. Um, here's my gorilla ladder when I, you know all my gutter cleanings and stuff. Here's my accelerator bagger, trash can, some random two by fours I got. Um, you can see our dog crates are here because we don't use them all the time. Here's the spare tire for my uh, enclosed trailer. I think it, it would fit any of these dolly hose, whatever. Here's my version one equipment defender blower rack. I leave this on the open trailer. That way if I'm doing an extra project or something, I can just throw the blower in there. Um, and I don't really need it in my enclosed trailer because I have those hooks. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, I'm going to be getting a new blower soon. Um, uh, because y'all had seen the blower's not in my trailer. And it was that, th my three years was up when I had, when I, uh, every three years I sell my blower and get a new one. So, anyway, the wind's blowing, there's dirt blowing in my eye. But, uh, yeah, so I'm on the hunt for a blower. I think about getting the BR800. But, I don't know. Oh, here's my wheelbarrow thing about getting the br800 but i don't know how to uh hang it in my trailer i don't want to have to buy another blower rack or something just because i want the 800 because here's here's my setup i got two pieces of plywood it's been here for like five years zero issues but um the 800 if y'all didn't know it has like where a normal blower handles here and then it has like the blower fan you know sits out but on the br800 um it has the handle over here on top of the fan and so no handle right up here against the wall so that that's kind of dumb and they have like one one spot little cutout i guess where you could like hang it on the wall or something but what am i going to do am i going to like cut all these and just hang it off of one and then what if that one had a problem or something and the blower would just fall like i don't know i don't think that's a good design in my opinion so that's one thing I got to work on, like if I get the 800, you know, because I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to make that work. I don't want to have to buy a blower rack just because I bought the 800. You see what I mean? Because this works awesome. You just put it in here, boom, set it on there, you're good. Down the road, put your tube up there. There's no point in having a, a rack that I have to do and undo and everything. Because if I want to lock it up, I just shut the door and lock the trailer. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know. Um, this mower now has four. Let's see. Four. Four seventy-three. Ah. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but four seventy-three. So anyway, that's my 2019 setup. Um, like I said, I'm still on the hunt for a blower, trying to decide what I want. I don't know if I want to get like a smaller blower, like a BR600 or the. Red Max EBZ 6500, which are very hard to find. Um, so I'm going to have to order that online or something if I want to get that. My steel dealer is awesome. Uh, we don't have many other dealers close. but um, So anyway, it's down to four blowers. Either get the BR600, the EBZ 6500 from Red Max, um, or the other two blowers, or the, the Echo 8010 or the br800 so those are the four blowers i gotta decide on the blowers what i'm talking about is like on the 800 the handle is here the handle is right here and not here so like this will be against the wall and you couldn't so you can just use the hooks easily on here but you could not use the hooks on the br800 so i don't know you know just uh something i gotta figure out so anyway so those are the four blowers i'm considering and also planning on getting a new mower later this year um oh also check out this uh see that's a max air vent because uh, here in georgia it's so hot like one year your little vent flaps will only last you about one year and then they break and crack and fly off and so even if you keep them closed 
it's just the plastic is thin and it cracks up and whatever. So I bought this Max Air thing on eBay and it's awesome because it's what it is is it's like constant ventilation and uh, it kind of looks like an AC unit or something but it's not it's just a you know it just ventilates and then it's it's more thick heavy duty plastic and so you can get those on there it was awesome it's easy to install it's the only way to go in my opinion and you get constant ventilation so because you can't really drive down the road with those flaps open because it ends up just tearing them up and stuff but that you know so my trailer's just always vented and there's no there's no reason for me not to have my trailer vented you know i don't i don't sleep in there or anything like that so anyway that's my setup i appreciate you guys we'll be talking down in the comments GIE is coming. I think about it all the time. See